Hey, what is up you guys? It's Megan. Welcome back to my channel, PG Squad. This is not like a regular video I usually post on my channel and I wanted to take a second and talk to you guys about something that's kind of going on right now. As you guys know, I have been uploading daily to YouTube for a few years and I am, needless to say, very, very lost right now in this exact moment. So I'm making this video because lately I have not been feeling really proud of the content I've been producing on this channel. Um, I know that I have a few other channels that I am so dedicatedly working on posting to, for example, my real life channel and also my Brookhaven channel, which is linked down below. But on this channel, my Adopt Me channel, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, which is really strange because I've been doing Adopt Me for a few years now, like close to religiously. I guess I just wanna come on here and candidly tell you guys that I feel a little bit lost. I feel distracted. I'm not sure what you guys want to see and I am coming to you guys for help. One of the most important things to me is my connection that I have with you guys, the PG Squad. Seeing what you guys have to say really helps me feel connected to this channel and what I kind of have going for it. And I know that this video probably just doesn't make a lot of sense and it's a lot of rambling, but I've just had a lot, a lot, a lot on my mind lately. So as I mentioned, I'm not really proud of the content I've been producing on this channel. I feel like I've been just kind of waking up, looking for an idea and then posting or just trying to get by and create content so that I don't let you guys down. I haven't been like really taking days off because I just really want to make sure that I'm posting what you guys want to see, um, which can lead to maybe not creating my best content as I'm just trying to hurry up and get something up, even though I'm not really sure what I want to post. And frankly, I don't have a lot of motivation to post. <laughs> I have spent a lot of my creative energy on my real life channel and on my Brookhaven channel. And that makes me feel so bad because I want to give you guys 110%. And right now I just need your help because I'm feeling a little stuck and I'm proud of what I've been doing lately. It also doesn't help that I think the YouTube algorithm is really, really hurting a lot of YouTubers right now. I think they just changed the entire UI, which, you know, I know this is probably going above a lot of people's head, but the YouTube algorithm is how a lot of YouTubers survive here on YouTube. If you're not in the algorithm's favor, your channel will fizzle and die. It's very, very scary. So it's like, I'm not really sure if I've fallen victim to this YouTube algorithm or if people are losing interest in the content that I am creating. The worst case scenario is that you guys woke up one day and decided you don't care about Megan Plays content and you don't wanna see what I have to create or more realistically, you're bored of what I'm creating or you don't wanna see kind of the videos I'm putting out or there's other content out there that you guys would rather see or rather click on. Right now, I have done something that I think will help. I have created a Google form. You do not need an account to make to, to fill this out, but it is linked down below. It is a simple survey where I am asking you guys a few questions. As we can see, we have my Google form right here. I just made it for you guys. Um, I'm talking about myself in the third person on some of these, just so everything is really clear. I ask, what is your favorite Roblox game to watch on YouTube? What is your favorite type of content to watch? Uh, do you get bored of watching Adopt Me content? I ask that because I don't know if Adopt Me has run its course with content. Um, as we know, as games get older, people grow older, they get different interests. Uh, what is your favorite type of role play? This one's specific, Megan talking and characters talking or Megan talking and characters typing. Sometimes I know that I am whenever people uh, in role plays end up typing more people tend to like, I feel like people like those more. I'm not sure. So would you rather have me and characters talking or me talking to typing characters? Which titles do you enjoy more? I have a few scenarios here. Birth to Death, Rich to Poor, Nerd to Popular. That's a category. I played Adopt Me Truth or Dare. I spent 5,000 Robux on this item. This is more of a what I'm doing in Roblox. And then which title grabs your attention more? Gut feeling, which one would you click on? Do you feel connected to Megan as a creator? This one I wanted to put because I know a lot of you guys say that you look at me like a big sister or a best friend, which is what I really, really want. I want to find more ways to connect with you guys. So I just kind of know where you guys feel on the connection scale, what social medias you have. And then if you choose to answer, I have how old are you? What gender do you identify as? These are completely optional to answer. Um, everything else has an asterisk by it because it needs an answer. Um, again, no one's required to fill this form out, but it would really help me create content that I'm really proud of. And I would just kind of have a better idea of what direction you guys want to see and where you guys want to go on this adventure with me. And I usually hate making videos like this because I just think it's kind of like a cop out, like, hey guys, no video today. Haha, -ha, click into my my sad rambling video. I just really like to be transparent with you guys and I think I do my best being transparent on my real life channel. It's at Megan over there. I often sit down and talk about how I'm feeling, where I am. Like you guys can kind of peek behind the curtain as I am a, um, a real person and I don't just, like when I'm not here, I don't just unplug. There's a whole house back here. I don't just live in this room. And lately it just kind of feels like maybe that's what I'm doing. I'm just like living in this room, making videos. And I just wanna make sure that I'm really proud of what I'm creating. And to do that, I think I just need to slow down 
think about what I'm doing, think about what you guys really want to see, take a step back and breathe, and then create content that I know you guys want to see. Yeah, it's, it's important for me to feel like I'm still there for you guys and to feel accessible to you guys because that's always what I've wanted to do as a creator. I want to be a person that you guys can connect to um, and bring your troubles to me. Like, I don't I don't want to cry because I think I might cry. <sighs> I think I might cry. Um, don't do, don't want to do that. Um, I just really want to create content that I'm proud of and I want to feel connected to you guys again. And right now, I don't really feel like I am. So I'm going to leave before I start crying. Um, videos will resume. I'm not sure if they'll be Saturday or Monday, but I just need a little bit of time to look at these survey answers to figure out what type of content I want to create because too long didn't read. I've been so focused on other projects, emails, taxes, adult life things, medical things, which you might know about if you watch the vlogs, and I just need to press reset. I think we all need to press reset sometimes. So I have to go. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Please fill out the survey. It would mean a lot if you did. It would really help me continue to create content that you guys really like. I'd appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to hashtag stay stay kind, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.